Oh, eight persons have been arrested following recent media reports on child labor activities within the cocoa industry. The head of public affairs of the Ghana Cocoa Board, Fifi Boafo, says government takes a strong stance against child labor and will clamp down on all illegal activities of the perpetrators. We have reported a matter to the police who have arrested and invited the people and currently taking them to the process. Uh, with the identified children, our officers are also in touch. The process will help us in identifying and also understand and appreciate their situation better. And then based on that, through the collaboration with other government agencies, get them if it's a case that uh, they've been moved from somewhere else, get them re reunited with their family. The issue about child labor is not exclusive within the cocoa industry. And of course, the Ministry of Labor, uh, together with its, its agencies, are working on that. So far, um, eight persons have had information given, one in Western North and uh, seven in the Ashanti region who are helping the police with investigations. Away from that story, the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission on Monday, 10th January 2022, met leadership of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana over their demands for better working conditions. The meeting follows an indefinite strike by SETAG on December 6th last year over claims government has failed to implement the 2017-2020 conditions of service as agreed in a memorandum of understanding signed between SATAG and government. Now, they want government to pay their interim premiums and book and research allowances. The strike is expected to uh, start affecting studies at various colleges of education across the country as students are expected to resume academic work this week.